YouTube. I didn't know you were spying on me there. Uh, so the verdict is in on my new Maxpedition uh, TT26, my new pack. Um, got all my stuff in it. I went on a hike with it. Let's see here if you can see. This burger weighs in excess of about 40 pounds with my hatchet and all on it. Uh, went uh, Saturday. We had some beautiful weather. Those on the Instagram saw the picture. Uh, went on a hike Saturday, about, about approximately a two mile hike with this bad boy, my new pack. And uh, it's got a little dirt on it already, but that ain't gonna hurt it none. Uh, and I have my first impressions, and we are going to do the review on this Maxpedition TT26. Let me first state that if you like a pack with molly webbing, this is not the pack for you. No molly webbing on here, or I'm not going to say none, there's very little. I don't think there's any, to be honest with you. I don't think there's any molly webbing on this pack at all. Uh, starting off point number two. If you love the little organizational uh, pockets and pouches, you're not going to like this either. Uh, it does have some pouches. I'm going to do my best to show you all this. In the little admin pouch right here on the front. Of course, I've got it full of my stuff. I'm going to have to dig all this out here. Let's see. Let's see. Let me just pull it all out here. So you can see. I'll try to show you the best I can here. This pouch has two or three little um, organization pouches here. This is all you get as far as little organizational pouches in this bag. You got three right here in the little admin pouch right here in front. I think that's what they call it, the admin pouch. You may have noticed uh, when I was unboxing, doing I was doing the unboxing video, I was kind of struggling to find zippers. You know, that's because I've never had a pack that's this nice before. Uh, I've had a couple of packs that were, you know, $11, $12 Walmart backpacks that were happened to be camouflage. Uh, you know, so I went through a couple of those. The zippers tore up on them. They weren't, they didn't last a year probably. Well, maybe a year and then a little bit. But, um, so then I, I went with the little Red Rock sling, which I will say the Red Rock slings are made very well. Uh, but this is the first bag I've ever had that actually has the little flaps that flap that flap down over the zippers for rain protection. And uh, it was because of that that I couldn't find the zippers in that first video. Because uh, like I said, I've never had a pack this nice before. And uh, the first thing that struck me about this pack when I put it on and I went for a hike it is so comfortable it is more comfortable than I thought it would have been uh, I mean the padding on the straps the padding on the back right here very good and um, I love the padding on the straps it's very comfortable to wear 
and and this this is you know this is some heft in here it's 40 pounds but uh at, at least 40 but very comfortable to wear uh this pack has the uh, the sternum straps, well, I may have to move the camera down some so y'all can see better. Uh, let me uh, get my junk out of the way here, excuse me, pardon me. Let me see if that's any better. Now, maybe it won't fall down while I'm trying to do this. Now, now we can see better. But uh, the sternum straps here, they are adjustable. You can take this out. You have two, three, you have five different positions where you can adjust your sternum strap. Uh, and I had to adjust mine. I had to move it down a couple for for comfort level on me. It was it was too close to around my neck. I just didn't like it. Uh, let's see. It also has the waist strap. A lot of people don't wear the waist straps. I do. It uh, the closer you get this thing to your body, the the more comfortable it is to me. So it's got a little waist strap on it, and uh, I've got that adjusted to my waist. It's gigantic because I'm fat. Uh, so the one thing I like the most about this pack. is man do that you can un undo this little flap and the whole thing opens up like a duffel bag it's got a zipper right here you go all the way down the center boom the pack is all the way open now okay i got some clothes and some dry socks and some wool socks in that bag there all right Here's a pair of gloves. Anyway, I'm not going to do this whole thing, y'all, but uh, this thing holds all I need it to hold. Um, let me stand this thing up and show you. In my other pack, it was not. It did not even have the room to hold this little. Uh, grill here this little uh campfire grill and in this main pouch right here this I'm trying to get where y'all can see it it has a main pouch right there and uh it's meant for probably a laptop or something to that effect or a tablet but hey my little uh campfire grill slides right down in there and i've got uh, or i had one of them came off uh had my my two ABS stakes in there, tent stakes, clamped to it. Uh, so, and then it's got some pockets over here on the side, on the inside. I, I know y'all probably ain't gonna be able to see all this, but it's got some pockets on the side right here. Um, and you can put some stuff in here. Uh, there's a flashlight. So. I love the uh, well, I love the fact that it opens up like a regular old duffel bag. I love that. Now, if you don't like the duffel bag the way it opens here, let me zip that back up. Fold this back down. You have a zipper up here as well. You can open up the top of the pack. Uh, in other words, like a regular. Sorry, y'all. I just can't get this camera right today, like a regular backpack, and you can go in through the top. You see it's unzipped there. Uh, so you can go in through the top. Well, that's my life BB, and I got me a little, uh, what do you call that thing you blow on a fire with? I forgot what it's called. Uh, but anyway, um, bellow. It's a bellow. Um, so I love the fact that it opens up uh, both ways. It opens up like a gym bag. So, like if you're if you're at camp, if you just arrived at camp and you want to break down and set everything up, you know, you can just lay this bag down, open that one big zipper, you know, like a regular gym bag or whatever, and you got access. 
to all your stuff just by simply flopping that up. Where's the zipper at? And unzipping it. Boom. Access to everything in here. I love that. Uh, there are... Uh, These, um, uh, if you want to call these Molly straps, these are going to be the probably the only ones on here. You got two cross straps that hold these up, and you could Molly stuff to that, as you see in my thumb right there. And you got four, so that'd be your only Molly straps on the whole bag there. All right. Let's talk about this back pocket here. There's my zipper wrap. It's got a pocket in the back. And it's got some Velcro in there. You stuff starting to open up and fall out. So it has a back portion. Uh, it has Velcro in there. If you have a Velcro holster, you can stick your Velcro holster in there. It'll hold that uh, with your weapon. There's my ridge line. Okay. Here's my map and my compass and my stuff I need to use, you know, for uh, plotting a direction or a course. What else is in here? My little fishing kit tins in here. You know, and it goes all the way across. And there's a zipper on the other side, too. You can unzip it from this side and stick your whole hand through it. You know, it's, it's wide open in here, except for where the Velcro sticks together. It's wide open in here. So, I love that. Uh, it's, got, it's got the, uh, I think you can see this, uh, the two big side pockets. I've got my water bottle in this one. And, y'all, this thing has, let me pull this up. This has water bottle keepers in it. And that'll keep your bottles from, from falling out. Okay, it's they're, they're elastic and they are adjustable from the inside, so you can stretch that around the, the neck of your water bottle right there, and that will keep it from falling out. I love that. Got a few other things in there with that water bottle. There's my syringe for my backwash, my Sawyer Mini that I've had to do a few times. I had to do some backwashing in that thing. All right, here's your other pocket again. Uh, you've got your little keeper band right here. That'll that'll put you can put it around whatever you want to put it around. In this pocket here, I've got my glass. My uh, well, let's get this out of the way first. My little charger unit right there. Okay, but I've got uh, in here is my monocular. Um, so, you know, so you got storage, tons of storage on the, on the sides, you got storage on the back like I talked about, and then you've got, uh, you've got this pocket here, which what I had in there was mostly fire starting stuff. I keep all my, I feel like fire starting is, is, uh, something you need to be able to get to fairly quick. And so I keep all my fire starting stuff in here. And, uh, so yeah. And I love it, y'all. I love it. It's, it's big enough. I can put all my stuff in here. Um, it will get heavy on you. I'll tell you that. You know, um. Sometimes I may want to swap out uh, instead of my hatchet or my axe. Uh, I may want to put my silky saw on this thing and let it hang off or whatever. But uh, you got a, a a holder for your axe. That's what that's made for. Um, and you know I've just got tons of cordage. Here's a hundred and something feet of uh, bank line. I've got stuck in there. So. Uh, I love the fact that it's got the pockets on the inside as well. I, I, there's no way I can probably show you all that. But it has a, um, 
doesn't look like they show it to you all, let me see. Let me just do this. Let me just give you all a... Uh, excuse me. Try to do this without mashing the button here. Give you an inside look at what all's in here and how much space you got. Uh, like an overhand view. Now, like right here, I hope y'all can see all this. Um, right here, you've got another mesh pocket up here in the top, and it's uh, zippered as well. And I don't have anything in that one yet. I gotta find something to stick in there. I got, I know what I gotta do now. But uh, there's yeah. Hopefully, you can get that. It's an inside look at how it. How it, uh, it unzips like a gym bag or like a regular duffel bag. Um, so, and I love the fact that you got the keepers on the water bottles, and that way, if you need to lay it down, your stuff just don't come pouring out of the pocket. You know, you can keep your water bottle in there, and it won't fall out. I love that. So, uh, I love this bag, y'all. This, this is exactly what I've been needing. It's bigger than that Red Rock Sling. It doesn't have the organizational stuff. It has some, but it's very little. But the fact you can open this thing up and you can stuff. And all this was down in there. I had all this. You know, this is a, this is a bivy roll. Uh, I learned how to roll up my clothing. Make it more compact for storage. But, uh, yeah, I love this thing. I absolutely love it and the biggest thing to me is just how comfortable it is to wear it is so comfortable so uh, I've got a few little beaners hanging here and there but I love the fact that the uh, the stern straps is adjustable and uh, I thought these were Molly webbing at first but they're all sewed together but that's extra strength in the in the strap this ribbon looking stuff it's very strong um so i love it y'all let me set you back down here Hold on, I'm gonna have it upside down. I have no idea. Let's do this back sorry for all that y'all but uh i love this pack uh and like I said, I use the waist strap on it, and I use the stern strap. Uh, it feels like the, the closer you can get the pack to you, uh, the better it feels. Uh, the straps are comfortable. This gets the ugly approval right here. Uh, and, you know, this I bought this pack. Uh, this wasn't sent to me. I wish somebody would send me something. I would be glad to do uh, gear reviews. Uh, and tell the truth about well, if things are crappy or if they're good. So if you're a company out there and you're watching this video, hey, send me something. I'll give a review on it. Uh, the usability of it and all that stuff. So, uh, it's raining here in Alabama today. Uh, or, you know, it, it rained all night last night and it uh, rained some this morning. Uh, and I'm just in the old prepper shed here hanging out seeing what needs to be done what needs to be organized uh, you know doing the things talk about doing the things okay uh, y'all have a blessed day I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, I hope y'all could see sort of what I was talking about uh, another thing here something I didn't cover this thing actually has handles on the side as well. You see that? It's a handle right there. You got a handle right here. And then you have another handle right there. So you got handles all around this thing. You can hang it, you know, like four different ways. Very excellent. Prep something today. Uh, be a blessing in somebody's life today. This is the Ugly Prepper. Peace out. Go buy you some gasoline. Uh, the Colonial Pipeline deal. Everybody's talking about it, so I'm not going to go over it all. 
But yeah, go prep you some gas and then hide it like CFP says. Uh, survival living. Uh, this is Ugly Prepper. We're out.